Are you an indie podcast or content creator looking to reach a wider audience? Look no further. Introducing Podcastic, the ultimate podcast network designed exclusively for indie creators like you. At Podcastic, we believe in the power of unique voices and fresh perspectives. We're here to amplify your passion and creativity, connecting you with a growing community of engaged listeners who crave original content. Podcastic is more than just a platform. It's a support system built for indie podcasters, offering a range of resources to help you succeed. From tailored promotional campaigns to professional production assistance, we're here to help you shine. Our intuitive platform makes it easy for you to be seen and heard. We do all the heavy lifting for you. You just show up and create. Plus, with our advanced analytics, you'll gain valuable insights into your audience's preferences, allowing you to refine your content and grow your fan base. Ignite your passion, expand your reach, and thrive with podcasting. Visit our website at www.podcasticlife.com to get started. Podcasting, the home for indie podcasts and content creators. Hey, still on what we talked about? You know I could. Okay, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I got to talk to you. Get up one time and shit to the guy that be fucking up and shit. What up, though, Doc? Guess what? <laughs> Yo, 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 guess who's back, guess who's back, y'all, welcome back, welcome back, this is your boy John Q, and welcome back to the G-A-M-G, the Big Flex Strong cast, we have my, my brother down there, I was like to say, also my host today and shit, always, Don Snipes in the building, what up, though? What's going on? That dude, hey, he down there eating that orangutan ass and shit with some black and, beets, black and salmon. And, beets and berries, you know what I'm saying? So, you know how he doing shit. Uh, black and salmon. Black and salmon, all right, all right. I don't say it with the L, though, nigga. Salmon. You say salmon. <laughs> mm -hmm. Salmon, nigga. What's our shit? <laughs> also in the building today, we have the one and only, say, actor and actor instructor himself. You done seen them summer everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Mr. King Wesley up in the building. What up, though, bro? Man, what's happening? What'd he do? Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. So this is the 33rd, say, episode of the GAMG, the Big Flex Strong Cast. So we're going to kick it off like this, man. How was y'all strong in? I'll, I'll start with you and shit, King, because he down there and shit in his sand <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? How was your strong in, brother? Hey man, that's a that's a hell of a question. How much stronger? I ain't never been asked that. Yeah, there you go. First, <laughs> well, hey, first time for everything. Weekend, yeah, we don't. We, yeah, we don't. <laughs> you know how we do? We power up. You know uh, what I'm man, saying? I guess it's, it's as strong as it's gonna be right now. <laughs> 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 Just coming off a, a, a nice weekend, man, down in Atlanta for real. Okay. Uh, a big networking event with actors, producers, um, casting directors, and just um, people that work in the industry. Um, from across the board so yeah quite a few of us went down um you know okay yeah. okay what else man yeah like yeah well, I, hey, look, come on, man. Like, I mean I, it, and i'm, and I'm asking this question yeah. I didn't been, listen i've been down to atlanta like the last since november every holiday since november right doing the mm -hmm. stage show and um you know a lot of different yeah, it's not a different. So, what, what, what was your thoughts on on the? No, you told me, man, you went swimming. Man. You stayed <clears throat> in the pool. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, stayed in the pool at the hotel. Okay, like, okay. Atlanta is different, man. So you yeah. gotta, you gotta, you gotta know where you're going, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Know what's going on? Uh, shout out to the story, my brother Don just told me. You know, it's a, it's a, little, different, it's a, it's a little different down there. Yeah. Um, yeah. but collectively, we had a we had a great time. I was able to um, you know, kick it with the young ladies. Uh, Elizabeth Fox was there, okay. Jada Jones, Nunu Thurman, uh, Ebony Tates, Deborah Lane Spencer, um, all right. Jacob. It was quite a few of us. Shout, shout out to the squad, huh? Yeah, they, yeah. Were, they was all down in the building, man. Okay, okay. Yeah, shout out to Rob Vincent who put that together. All mm -hmm. right, shout it out. Is Rob from here? No, Rob is, where's Rob from? He's from New York originally, but he, okay. he lives down in uh, Virginia Beach. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, no, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yes, so how was your strong end, cuz? Man, it was pretty good. I, um, <clears throat> I ended it with, uh, you know, getting some sunlight, um, getting outside, 
uh, got some rest. You know what I'm saying? Some much needed rest. You know what? I think that the older I get, the more I get in tune with just listening to my body. I think sometimes, you know, um, we grew up in a time where a lot of people get to talking about mind over matter all the time. And it's just like, if you constantly live by that philosophy, you start ignoring your your insides, yeah. your, your intuition, you know what I'm saying? And your, your gut feeling about things. And sometimes, you know, you have to be able to listen to your body when your body say, hey, listen, sit your ass down for a minute today. Yeah. You don't got to, you know, do no scrolling. You don't got to watch no TV. You don't got to listen to no music. You understand what I'm saying? Because I feel like <clears throat> with all the stuff that's going on, especially, you know, with technology and, and just especially with this this uh, worldly concept that you always have to be doing something or you're not good enough. Yeah. You know, um, we're starting to lose touch with tapping in, you know what I'm saying, to what's going on with us inside, you know. And so that... You know, for me, uh, that check in, like, you know, how am I doing emotionally? How am I feeling today mentally? You know, is it somebody that I need to call and talk to or I haven't chatted up with in a minute? You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. to say hello. Uh, all of that stuff. Um, I had an epiphany. I was sitting thinking to myself, and I'm going to ask both of you guys this question. Okay. Starting with you, King. Um, how often... And has this and and has this went on for a long period of time or different different times in your life? Have somebody asked you, you know, what do um, they need from you in order to make your relationship, your friendship better, or whatever to strengthen up the bond, or just to kind of check in with you? Mm. That for damn sure doesn't happen often. Uh, but the last person who asked me that was my wife. Gotcha. You know, and, and I, I think that's probably been the only person in my life that asked me that. I don't even think my own mother, Listen. God rest her soul, you know, ever asked me that. They may have asked me that in the, you know, if it was pertaining in like school and stuff, but like for like my mentors <clears throat> and just you know. Just how I'm actually doing. Yeah. The only person that's ever asked me that is my wife. And yeah. I, I was just married. Clap it up. Yeah. Sure. 12 and, years and, ago. And, and, and listen. Yeah. Is it something that she always did? Or is it something nope. that maybe eventually when y'all hit a crossroad or something, she figured, you know what? I, oh, she learned this something I got to do. It, it, she got tired of the. Because the, you're a Scorpio. Yeah. So you get this. We are, um, we're mysterious people, mm -hmm. you know, for lack of a better word. Mm -hmm. We don't do a lot of, we don't complain. Mm -hmm. We only talk to a selected few of people. Yep. If you, if we even That's think hint. that you're not, and Miles, he's a Scorpio too. Mm -hmm. And if we even think that you're not even connected to what we're even vibing on it's like it's not even there like yeah. we don't do nothing we don't do nothing just because of leisure y'all do shit with a purpose it's mm -hmm. a purpose yeah. so yeah. Um, she man I think what happened I was uh, <clears throat> I was just taking on it was a time when she was in school mm -hmm. and I was just taking on a lot with you know our kids and whatnot. and um, it's nothing that I regretted because I told her I was like you know she told me the length of time that the school was going to be and I said hey wh whatever that time was I think it was eight, like 18 months I said, hey, this is going to be an 18 month grind. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, at the time, I was learning to be a father because my first two children, I didn't get a chance to grow with them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, so she had, you know, three children already. Mm -hmm. So I was learning as I was going. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it was uh, a lot it, on you. It was a lot, man. You <clears throat> know what I'm saying? It was a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? And. At the time, I was coming from the streets, and I was crossing over into, um, you know, uh, not theater. I was already in theater, in film. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. it was it was just a lot going on. And uh, to the point where, you know, I just stopped. Like, I was already not talk really. I'm not a big talker. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't doing no talking. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, hold on, what, you know, what's the deal? I'm like, nothing. I'm just learning how to deal with certain things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then she just... I think it was something just in her that just it just went off, 
And that's when I knew, like, this was my, you know, we were already married, but this was this is what solidified her to be my real person. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, because yeah. nobody asked me that. Now, like, it, 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 we had to hit the fork in the road, but mm -hmm. thank God for that fork in the road because I don't know where, and, I, and I'm very, very transparent when I say this, I don't know where we will be. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. shout out to her and yeah. just the guy's time. Yeah, shout it out. You know what I'm saying? How about you, shit. And, then, and listen, let me let me preface this. You 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 said what I feel like a lot of men feel in terms of <clears throat> when I was doing some self evaluation. I'm like, damn, nobody really asked me this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. why is it that I can't even in my mind? Or <clears throat> if somebody did, it was like <clears throat> you asking me maybe to be a little bit nosy or find out what's going on with me, but you really not gonna be there with me, hold my hand, or put that arm around my shoulder and walk walk with me for a minute because yeah. I might need that. Yeah. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you ain't walking with me. Yeah. You just asking me, and then after I tell you, it's like, oh, okay, well, shit, this was going on with me. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you okay. know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What about you, cuz? So, so in, in my case, I'm pretty much almost like the same with King is, like, you know, it's more so like when you come to a a strenuous kind of like situation or something within a relationship to where I would get that question like, Hey, what do we need to do? This, not another. But however, I will say this, like for, you know, me and my wife, we, we've been married for 23 years now, uh, been together for 27 years. So it's been a plenty of times to where we know it's things that we need to either communicate about doing, you know, together, you know what I'm saying? As far as like trying to reach a goal for each other, or just like you said, like my wife was going through nursing school and stuff like that. And it was that time where it was like, all right, fuck it. I got to grind too. You know what I'm saying? Early on and stuff like that. And then when I decided to go back to school, she took that shit on. So it was more so like a, a long-term goals that we both had set that we kind of like, you know, had each other's back on it, but of course, yeah, we we hit those, you know, those roads, man, those those them hard roads to where we did have to sit down and actually ask each other, like, hey, what can we do and stuff like that. But it hasn't been like just out of the clear blue, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, everything could be just going good. That's why I think where a lot of times the stuff where things are going good. That's when I think a lot of times people need that check, that good check, because mm -hmm. it's easy and shit to go ahead and, and ask somebody and shit when you see their ass doing bad. But what about when you think they did that they go, doing good? Because a lot of times when people, you know, think that they doing good or whatever, shit, they just be probably motherfucking still stressing out just as just as much and shit when they doing bad. You know what shit. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah and absolutely. dealing with some shit or just, you know, what I'm saying that reinsurance, you know, or like you said, that 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 confidence or whatever in that person and shit to kind of like still help you keep on going on and doing what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? To Man, continue doing what you need to do. That's why I gravitated to y'all in the gym. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, more of my demographics. I think I'm I'm not the youngest guy. I'm not the oldest guy. I think, yeah. I, you know, I just fall right in the middle. Yeah. I got a, you know, I'm the youngest of three siblings. So I've always had to look from a certain angle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> now, yeah. you know, when we, that's, you know, when I go, when I, we go in there and work out, yeah. You know, and we get to kicking in and whatnot. That that actually helps me, man. We you know yeah. we be kicking the willy bobos, but a lot of times, you know, we getting it in there and we having real, you know, you know, just just men talk. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, and that's why I bring my son and yeah, try to get bring other people who need that. You know, yeah, you know, so. yeah, yeah. Man, right. we got to check on each other more, man. I, no, I we do. We oh, definitely. And do. I was gonna add us on onto this uh, dime. Um, and I know we've always we've heard this. No one checks on the strong person. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. No one has empathy for the strong person. person no. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Usually it's like people really like they envy the strong people the most. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or they be more so liking shit. Oh, they got that shit together. Yeah, they don't need like, to they don't need to don't, even, you know what I'm saying, hear my know. two cents and shit about nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, y'all don't even know like it's been so many times I didn't thought about walking away from not just acting, just yeah. walking away. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. Same but, here. But, yeah. You know, not acting though. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I ain't just, got um, in that lane. <laughs> I just stay, you know, just, just know that every day is just a new chance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and I used to have real bad anxiety because I used to try to live in two spots. You yeah. Know, you know, thinking about the past or living in the future and yeah. stuff like that. 
I just learned to say F it. And uh, you're going to get what you what I can give. If, yeah. if, if that ain't good enough, then oh, well, fuck. Yeah. F it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. You yeah. done? Oh, fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been, trying, to, I've been trying to work on it anyway. Right, right. But, yeah, um, yeah, man, it's, that's, 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 I, lo- I like that question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's hell of a, all right? So, look, so this, this episode, the 33rd episode, is sponsored by the GAMG, the Big Flex Strong, uh, I'm talking about the strong cast. The GAMG, which is Gym Animal Muscle Gain Enterprises LLC. So if you're looking for personal training, if you're looking, say, for workout apparel, and you're also looking for uh, healthy um, supplements when it comes to vegan and vegetarian, detoxing, protein, energy drinks, and so forth, you can hit me up at GAMG.shop. That's one email. And then also, well, that's a web, website. And then you can also hit me up on gamg.firstfitness.com, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and move on to, uh, we're going to go hit Don's motivational moment real quick, you know what I'm saying, before we get into Q's funny video, which is, matter of fact, which, which is uh, sponsored, I might as well go ahead and knock these on out. By eight, which is all problems eliminated. Say uh, this is a home repair company. All right. So if you're looking to get any work done to your home, um, plumbing, uh, drywall, painting, anything like that, doing, doing, you know, that you need done to your house. Give uh, T and BT a call at area code 623-223-3943. And then they can be reached on Instagram at ape.tl. Okay. So, Dan, what we have for, say, the motivational moment for the day? Um, my comment, man, is just just a gentle reminder uh, <clears throat> since I started this with, with the question that I asked. And it's a gentle reminder to all men to learn the value in asking yourself the right questions. Uh, oftentimes, we <clears throat> when we analyze and have a moment for some self-reflection, you know, um, we're more or less expressing, you know, how we feel or what we're thinking. But what's going to take you to the next level is learning how to ask yourself the right questions. How do I feel? What am I feeling right now? You know what I'm saying? Why do I love this person? Why do I love the way that I do? You know, am I a little stubborn? And is this something that I need to, you know, bring some balance to in my life? Uh, I think that once we understand the value in that, that is one of the things that kind of quintessentially takes us to a a new level of, you know, our manhood and our masculinity. You know, it's one thing to kind of know who you are, but it's another thing to question yourself so that in a way to not so much as, you know, challenge who you are, you know, because a lot of us. You know, we are beings that are connected to, you know, our our ego and our identity, but in such a way where, you know, we can we can reflect in a way that's going to bring about some type of change that's going to be, you know, well worth it. You understand what I'm saying? And when you're not when you're not able to ask yourself some really, really tough questions, man, you know what I'm saying? How do you think you're going to handle it if somebody else asks you a tough-ass question? You know, you're going to get defensive or feel like they're being critical of you. So, again, you know, learn the value in understanding that, um, you know, part of our growth as men is, 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 is it's important to ask yourself the right questions, you know, and be able to be honest with yourself about them. All right, all right. Give it up for Don for this motivational moment. Hey, well said, cuz. That's a thousand. <laughs> like, that's a thousand. All right, y'all. So, we're going to go ahead and get into the Say the Q's funny video real quick. So, y'all, check this out. You may enter. You are not Akim. I know that. What is this? A photograph. What is this? McDowell's. It's a place over on Queens Boulevard. I think he works there. My son works? What is it now? I don't know. He moved downstairs, apartment 1A.
Your Majesty! What are you doing here? I received your telegram. What is Akeem? He went out. So how is your flight comfortable, I trust? Your only job was to look after Akeem. How could you let him come to such a pass? Akeem will not listen to me. He's gone quite mad, Your Majesty. Semi, you have disgraced yourself, and you must be punished. You will confine yourself to our royal suite at the Waldorf Astoria. And see that he puts on some decent attire. And I want you to bathe him thoroughly. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah, so y'all already know how to play on these videos and shit, you know what I'm saying? So that's classic <laughs> always. So King Jaffer Jaffer. So of course we got the king in here. What up, though? King himself, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so before we get into say this uh video clip of the king, say I just want to go ahead and say uh this uh interview is gonna be sponsored by uh TNT Cakes Creations and more. So if you're looking to get any um velvet cakes, uh, uh key lime pies and stuff like that. And also say the heat transfers for if you want to get uh help get your uh like designs or logos and stuff like that off the ground, you can give um Tim a call at area code 563-650-9444 or they can be reached at Tim Williams 1130 at yahoo.com. And once again, they do more than say just heat transfers. They do uh, shirts, hoodies, um, anything to print on, uh, tumblers, uh, license plates, uh, designs, some everything. So just check them out when you get a chance. So let's go to the next video, y'all. Hey, check this out. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long you been engaged? Mm, I've been engaged for a couple of months now, but prior to, I was married for six years. Mm. About you? Me? Yeah. A year. A year? Yeah, I married my first baby Miles while I was locked up. Okay. Hey, yeah. it's nothing like having that one true person that stays down on your side, especially with times like that, right? Right. But you know, I never really got over my ex. Oh, really? I mean, don't get me wrong. My, my wife, she's a good girl. No, and all, of course, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. <sighs> My ex, she's a rider, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about more ways than me. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I get you. Man, I mean, no cap. She's loyal. And the sex, <sighs> amazing, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> well, yeah. look, I always say that, um, you know, there's always that one ex, right? That one ex who has a big impact on your life, good or bad. You know? For sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you got any advice for a newly married man? Yeah. Um, respect, trust, communication. Mm. RTC. All right, if you got those mm. three things, you're great. Without it, you got nothing, though. All right. <laughs> respect, trust, <laughs> communication. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm a, um, Finish taking a few more minutes. Yo, do what you right. need to do. Take pictures, whatever you need to do. Um, you send me over that invoice and I will send you a check, sir. Hey, appreciate this. Uh, appreciate you, Mr. Carr. All right. Yo, yo, look at that. Hey, look, yeah. look, look. Yeah. look. Okay. I ain't gonna say what the we call it the chop on it. Do they, they do they call it the chop? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, the, the chop. All right, look at the chop. Look at that, chop. Look at that chop. Yeah. chop's on King, man. Yeah, chop. Hey, man, you did your thing on that, man. <laughs> that right there was a was a clip from a good man, right? Correct. A good man that you, that, that you could watch on uh, uh was it Tubi? Tubi, produced by Joe Smith. <laughs> Joe Smith, man. So and look, y'all definitely gotta check that out if y'all have it. So once again, welcome, say King Wesley. It's an actor, actor instructor, you know what I'm saying? Hell of a talented brother, you know what I'm saying? With the chops, as y'all see. Welcome to the say the GAMG, the strong cast once again, good brother. So, Whatever. so, so now this is this is we're gonna ask you a couple of questions, a couple of tough ones, real quick, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, come on, explain man. to the people one more time who you are and what do you engage in when it comes to say acting and acting, you know, uh, instructing. Okay. Uh, again, my name is King Wesley. Uh, I'm originally from Yonkers, New York, but by way of Detroit, I've been acting um, in this industry for 23 years. I uh, started with um, theater, 
uh, and crossed over into film in 2012. Started okay. in 2000, crossed over to uh, film in 2012. Um, did I've done over 30 different stage plays, um, 10 of which toured um, the United you know, the States or whatever. Okay. Um, more recently, I got off into um, the teaching aspect of it because I began to see a lot of repetitiveness um, of bad habits okay. on, on Tubi. <laughs> that was, okay. I felt like it's reflecting on the community. So okay. um, I never looked at myself as an instructor, but I always had this, you know, from over the years, from even working and learning with Don, you know what I'm saying, and from Don, you know what I'm saying, as well as many others. Um a skill set, okay. you know, and it was something that I always, you know, I, I kept doing. It's like, it's like how we go to the gym. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We get, you know, we got back, then yeah. we got chest. So I, I started taking that same concept and applying it to how I would, you know, take on a project. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Whether it be stage or whether it be, you know, a film or whatever. So I started finding, though it may not even be said. Before I go into what I was about to say, but though it may not be said, I know. What my I know what I do in my performances. Okay. You know, um, and that's all I can control. You know what I mean? I can't control what the cameraman does. Okay. I can't control what the director does, except doesn't take, and what he will push through. I, some scenes that I thought was um, more solid and more believable and more whatever yeah. didn't make it out of the, didn't make it out of um, the post production. But okay. that's needless to say. Again, I focused on what I can do. You know, so. Um, just working with you know pretty much everybody, uh, whether it was from theater or on the film side, I, I pretty much worked with everybody. So you start to um, evaluate yourself and the relationships and the, the feedback that you yeah. get from the directors and the producers, and you, you jot it down and it's like, hey, okay, these things are starting to match up and line up. So um, something's working. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, the biggest thing I learned though before I even got into the, the teaching aspect of it was a uh, rest her soul. Melissa Talbot had told me, she said, Wes, I want you to um, take a break. You're working too hard. I need you to learn the business. Okay. You know, get off the treadmill and learn the business. Slow down and walk. So I did. I took a three-year hiatus, not from just not from just working. I was educating myself. Okay. You know what I mean? To really know what, um, what I'm doing. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So um, when I came back, and with the education, and I started back working, and, and shout out to Moolah Films. I had a talk with a T.O. there, and we was talking. He was like, whoa, <laughs> these young guns who think they're doing something in trouble. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. like why you say that? He's like, man, you didn't, you a whole nother person. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you already were who you was, and now you have took it and, you know what I mean? And flipped it. And then flipped it, and yeah. now you're there, you know what I'm saying, and what we need. So, um Again, some of those things was coming from, uh, you know, that was giving me confirmation that okay. I needed to. Plus, I got tired of seeing what I was seeing, you know, so, and nobody was correcting them. You know, that's what I was about to say. Give me an example. Of what was you seeing just that bad, you, you know, just, just bad performance? Okay, bad performances. Again, um, from the actor standpoint, yeah, I can help that. Okay, I can't. I can't accept. I can't say what. The director will allow. Okay, <laughs> I don't. You okay, know, okay. Um, I've. Yeah, a lot of people that say they can direct, but they they don't. And okay. They don't produce and and they, they don't. They, yeah, yeah. So Don, Don totally gets me. Okay. So I stayed in what I could do. You okay. know what I mean? What I can okay. take control of what I can do. So um, at first, uh, I didn't know how the people was going to be, you know, be receptive to it because I wasn't a. I took three years off, and I wasn't like clickish. I'm not clickish. Right, I don't right. run any click. And, okay. you know, for those of those people who say it's not a click out here, go to hell. Y'all know it's just, <laughs> it's just a bunch of clicks out here. Yeah, just okay. So whatever. Okay. So, um, many, many, many clicks. <laughs> many clicks, bro. <laughs> so um, I didn't know how, you know, people were going to be receptive to it. Uh, I started promoting it, like, in October that I was going to offer classes. I had, First, I wrote my outline down. Um and then based it over four weeks, and I was going to meet with these students, potentially whoever was going to come twice a week. Okay. You know, sit with them for two hours, and we was, I was going to get them together, yeah. you know. So um, for them first 60 days, it wasn't even an inquiry. Everybody was just, I don't even, I don't know if people was resharing it or liking it. It was just, 
just wasn't no 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 action going on. So, okay. Um, I would say like the sixty first day. Okay. Um, I get I did get a reaction, uh, a response. Okay. And uh, from then, I got a week later it was another one. And you know, nine months later, I got over sixty students. That's what's up, man. Clap so, that shit up. Yeah. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. But not, you know, I'm not really big on like, you know, like quantity. Yeah. I got 60 quality over. Yeah. Quality. Quality. Quality yeah. students. Yeah, of course. You know, what I'm saying that that one who came and this one particularly came had no acting experience at, at all, which I love because it's not hard to it's hard to erase some some kind things, of mold. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. And her name's Ashley. She um, no act, like no act experience. She she came. I worked with her the first month, and um, she went out. She took the phase two course, and uh, I think it was like the first week of the phase two course. She like she landed it, her a lead role. Okay, you know damn. What I'm okay. Yeah, and, and I was like, who's the producer? You know, I ain't gonna disclose. The project. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna let the let it be shown, and then people will see like, oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Um, when she told me, I said, oh, okay, cool, that was good. So something was working. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So shout out to the the process. You know okay. what I'm saying. All right, all right. Now you said that. Um, are you um, offering say classes now? Absolutely. Um, I run monthly classes. Okay. Um, it's like I said, I base it, um, what I have to give is four weeks. Phase one is four weeks. Um, we meet twice a week, Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 to 9.15. Um, okay. My fir- uh, the first week is a, what I like to call the advanced scene breakdown. Okay. You know what I mean? A lot of people call it uh, script analysis and all this, this, that, and the third. I take it by scenes. Okay. Because the scenes are what make the movie, the okay. film, the script. You know what I mean? And I, with that breakdown, I'm teaching them how to really develop a true, a, a true backstory in which they can latch on to, and I have them. What I like to say is, they they swallow a goal. Okay. You know, and that goal sometimes may have nothing to do with actually what's going on, <clears throat> what's actually going on in the script. Okay. You know, um, and who I like to reference from is James St. Patrick. You okay. Know? He had this goal of, right when the series came on to get out of the, uh, the drug life in power. Like I don't, we don't know why he wanted to get out though. Yeah, you know, we just know that he wanted to get out. Yeah, you know, what I mean? so that was a goal that nobody knew about. Yeah, only thing that we knew is that he wanted to get, get out. out. And then in episode two of the first season, he asked his his person Tasha, like, you know, what do you see me as? And she said, the biggest goddamn drug dealer. And right then he lost her. Yeah, like. You know, I, I think like that's very, it. I think that was yeah, that was it. Nothing that's, more. Yeah. And I think the very same night. And shout out to those writers. Like yeah. the very same night, he seen that first woman that ever broke his heart. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As Levada as and how one situation. Like that's what that's what, that great question what Don said earlier. That reflects then. Like, yeah. what do I need to do from Tasha? Like, what do I need to do yeah. to make sure? You know, and hearing that question, like. You know that's it's fictional based, but it's so it's so real. Yeah, yeah. Just thinking off of what he yeah. just, Don just asked. Yeah. If she'd asked me, well, baby, what can I do to help you get there? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and, that's what you or, think or of. What me. do you need from me? Yeah. yeah what in do this yeah. moment, yeah. me in, yeah. this, in moment. this moment. Yeah. yeah. Again, shout out to those writers. Yeah. Like it's it's. We later found out that um that he was a you know. A monster. He was doing some shady things, but yeah, yeah. Um, the writing, the writing was so good that the you know the fellas admired him and loved him as a character because he was in that life. He was juggling two women, three women at times, yeah. and you know. So in my course, I teach them how to swallow that gold that has nothing to do with the script because mm-hmm. him wanting to get out, we didn't know why. why. We just knew he wanted to get out. So that helps them actually navigate. Mm-hmm. And I have them look at the script as a map. Okay. You know, every scene has a goal, and before you can get to that goal, it's going to be some type of hurdle, okay, or obstacle, okay. okay? And per your goal, depending on how latched on you are, let's go into phase two, I mean week two. Okay. We talk about vulnerability, all right? How vulnerable are you attached to this goal? How vulnerable? How, like, how are you, like, what's, 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 what's going on with you? Okay. You know what I mean? And that's what helps you 
bring out the, the natural reactions and emotions because as you're going and driving through this map, the script, yeah. right, you're going to meet people in places and obstacles and things of that nature that's going to be do one of two things. They're going to be either they're either going to jail with you or it's going to be abrasive to your goal. Okay. And when you latch on to that, you can, man, you give such a greater performance from facial expressions, which is the following next yeah. the following week, how important that it, it is to have um, facial expressions uh, and non-verbal acting yeah. because sometimes yeah. people who are not trained, it's easy enough. You walking around, I mean, you're not walking around. You're in the you're in a scene, and it's like you're waiting. You're just waiting to hear a line. But if you at a bus stop, and then you this is the scene being down at the bus stop, and it's a bum, and he talking to me, and I you know I can tip the you know yeah, just, just, do the, like, but just do the things that you would not yeah, do without saying something. Yeah, and then yeah. The, the fourth week is stillness. Stillness delivers the message. I see so many people just they. They don't understand. They think to express anger is I got to be the loudest person in the room. To, if I got to, you know, yeah. it, it's so many different levels, you know. It, you know, just got to you got to come in and sit. Yeah, sit yeah, in. yeah. Right, y'all both, yeah. y'all think y'all are like if y'all I'll, just sit in. I want to, I want to come anyway, just because I think it'd be a challenge anyway. So I like to challenge, you yeah, know, challenge yeah. myself. You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, I've, you know. Just on, like I said, that clip, and then I watched, like I said, a good man before, just to see, mm-hmm. man. Like I said, man, great job, man. Listen, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I pay homage immediately. Yeah. Shout out to Don Snipes, man. Don gave me so many gems with me, when, like when we first met. Yeah. Like, because I had natural raw talent. Yeah. You know, I had, you know, natural. Then I, I had later took master classes, but Don used to give me nuggets all the time, man. And I can think of one in particular. And he talked to me about that. He said, "Well, you ain't got to be that loud." He said, "Look at." He said, "How tall are you?" Yeah. And I think we what project was the, I think it was Diamond Girls, like the first person, one of the first ones. Or yeah. And he was uh, directing it and, and working in it as well. He's like, "Man, you six six three, you big dude. You ain't got to be yelling." Yeah. Yeah. Like learn how to control that. You know. And I'm like, that's what was that's, that's what, what was funny to me, man. like on your character that that was in that. Yeah. You know, like. I know you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. personally. So when I see it, I'm like, look at Kane. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just like how I be with my mm-hmm. cousin. Like, when I see him doing this thing, I know him. <laughs> but then when I see him in this element of doing that, it's like, look at these. That's right. It's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you yeah. know, I just want to, you know, say, hey, keep up the great work, fellas. You right. know what I'm saying? Y'all, sure. y'all be killing it. You know what I'm saying? Good, the good breakdown that you yeah. did. I think that... I tell people all the time, and you you kind of touched on it a little bit. I've learned so much about myself from acting. It's not even Ooh, funny. Say it, bro. You know, it's, it's, it's not even funny. But um, being able to conceptualize something to somebody and, and in order to get them to understand it is is heavy. So I definitely like the way you kind of broke that down. I think that um, that nonverbal communication. People don't even realize how much we do that in our everyday lives but then you know once people say oh i want to start learning about acting people feel like great actors are people who know how to lie and i'm just like man i don't have nah. nothing to do Mm-mm. with nothing Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. you know i always tell people i say look right now if somebody gave you a role and and you needed to play an 86 year old man who you know what i'm saying has some back issues what that look like yeah how's your posture like you said mm-hmm. how's your facial expressions mm-hmm. how you talking you understand what i'm saying the stillness i think that that's something throughout the years unfortunately some of the people who are controlling some of the projects mm-hmm. they don't really understand the importance of that you know yeah. there's a difference between a good performance where you got somebody cussing somebody out like this and they doing a net or a great performance and somebody just doing just like this yeah. and they yeah. keeping that stillness and they holding their power mm-hmm. so that's a beautiful thing that you broke down I, yeah. I think that for anybody that want to get into acting they'd be like oh i want to act go learn first yeah like yeah. you don't have to go get in a project like Take this class, like yeah, go learn. Definitely. Listen, I'm I'm sitting here, and I, if I had to tell somebody my biggest strength, it's I don't I don't think I know shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because yes. everybody process different. Yeah. Uh, so you know what I'm saying. Even though I might have been doing, he might have been doing some a certain amount of time, and myself, I'm going. I'm gonna ask questions. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to different folk because. 
I can still learn from that. I think that that's the thing. Once you get to this point in acting where you feel like you've arrived because somebody didn't cast you in two, three projects because yeah. you got a fat ass or you got a good look oh, oh, oh. as yeah. a dude. Now we talking. Man, yeah. you don't know shit. Now we talking. And Did I you, think that's the that's the problem sometimes with a lot of actors. They yeah. feel like, oh, well, I got casted. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck that mean? The yeah. motherfucker <laughs> who might have casted you don't mean I know shit. <laughs> and that's, that's no disrespect yeah. to nobody, that's but I'm real. being fucking yeah. honest. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that if you're not around nobody that, to to be able to look you in your face and be like, yeah, that wasn't it. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's try to get it. Not yeah. in a I bad way. Yeah. No, yeah. but no. In a, in a, in a in real, real way. In a way to say, yeah. I love you and want to yeah. see you be great, not yeah. fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you got a good look. Or yeah. like you said, some folks got natural talent, but now let's fine tune this shit. Don't yeah. go in here yeah. like, man, I've arrived because I didn't do did four films. What the fuck do that mean? Me. Yeah. You still might have done four films and ain't learned a fucking thing. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a real truth around here. Yeah. To, I, add on, to add on to that, bro, um, I had to highlight what you were saying, and I, I make sure I pointed at you enough times so I wouldn't forget it. Um, in my class, it's, it's one word that we don't say. Mm -hmm. Well, so it's two, two words. I can't. Is that it? Try. Okay. And act. Okay. I said, I, I really, I'm like, I understand the kind of. Acting about acting. <laughs> I mean, about acting is whack. Hey, yeah. man, I tell my students this. I say, man, I, 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 whoever created this acting word, you know, um, they didn't intend for it to be what we think it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, and I tell them, and my students, all my students was here. I say, well, what do we learn to do? Perform. There you go. Perform. There you go. You know what I'm saying? We learn to perform. And not only perform. The performing we learn, arts. We learn to perform for deaf people. Yeah. Because if a deaf person can tell you what's going on. Yeah. You know. You a bad. You yeah, cold. You a bad. Yeah, you cold. Like, yeah. If they can really get into it and, and, and without the closed caption on. Yeah. That's what we perform from. You want to go that deep. You your performance. You want to go that deep. Like, where well, they can write it down. Like, mm -hmm. you know, with everything else that might be going on around them. Yeah. That's why it's been good to have engagement. And with the nonverbal, yeah, you know, I can yeah. go on for days mm -hmm. about yeah. this. But, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's 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 what I get them. And they don't come up here. You know, I want y'all to work in class. But the real work is when you leave me because I'm only working with y'all for two hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go yeah. home. I listen. I it takes ten thousand hours to be a professional. Give yourself. Don't try to do. Don't compare your journey. Yeah, your yeah, journey yeah, to yeah, somebody else's. Yeah, yeah, I'm 23 years mm -hmm. in, and I'm gonna be forever a student. That's why I love. I love what I do. And it's strength in that because that's what I was gonna mm -hmm. tell y'all when y'all was talking. Is you know when you say that you don't know nothing. I don't. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's that's that is power in that because <laughs> if you feel like you can always learn, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. gonna put you in a mind state of. Not I don't like to use the word humble because that means to I hate that you word. know weaken yourself, but it puts you more so in to me to be actually you know like in the strength you know strength of yourself because now you saying okay I know I can always do better I always can do I, I can always better myself in a way you it's, know what I'm saying it, so it's having an attitude of gratitude yeah mm -hmm. you know people we've been taught for years and years and years and nobody's corrected us. This whole humble word, man. If you really, if you go Google that, yeah. or the meaning of that, yeah. that means to, to weaken lower your yeah. weaken and yep. lower yourself behind, but who you from who you naturally are. Yeah. I would never tell Miles. I would never tell Don. I would never yeah. tell you humble yourself. Yeah. No, yeah. I think you should be more grateful for what you have. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the people that you're around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the things that they pour into you. I mm -hmm. think you should be more grateful. No, you know, I'm not gonna say humble. Yeah. You know, because that's that's just lessening who you are. So. Those are those those of you that can hear my voice, you yeah. know. Once it's on replay, please go Google that word and just don't humble yourself. Just yeah. be have an attitude of gratitude, man. Yeah, check it, check it out. So, also, look. Let me ask you this real quick. So, what is your, you know, what is your ultimate goal as far as your, you know, your acting career or acting, being an acting instructor? You know, what I I'm used saying? I, I used to um, I used to think that success was a place, right? Mm -hmm. Until I realized. I was impacting people from, you know, just sitting around talking to them, and they saying, "Man, thank you, dog," because I ain't even I didn't even look at it like this, yeah. right? But as far as you know, I took that, I take that, because I hear it a lot. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm more so after the impact yeah. of who can I touch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. I don't worry about money, yeah, at all. 
I'm after the impact. Like, who? How yeah. many people before I leave this earth? How many people can I touch? Yes. How many people can I I can help get in position? How many people would like? What's what is your legacy is going to be told by the people? People, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, how many people can I touch? How many? You know what I'm saying? So, I do um, have plans to open my own film company. Okay. You know, and things of that nature, um, which they are in works. I do have you know scripts and things. I, you know, I'm looking for. You know, I'm about to get some fundings and things of that nature, but it's deeper than film, man. Sure. Um, I want to, and, and my students again, I like I want to hire from within. Yeah, you know, and like, shit, yeah, so, it's only suit, you know, suits you right. You know man. what I'm saying? Yeah, and because because there's a phase two to my class too. Okay, right, that was phase one that I broke down. So phase two, it starts to introduce them to the production side of things. Okay, you know what I mean, and. Um, a lot of executive producers and producers have come to me like because I had them sit in like a few times. Shout out to Dewan Ford; he was one of them. Okay, he said, "Man, this is dope." It's like they you starting to teach them what we go through. Yeah, on bigger projects because they have to write their own scripts. They got to uh, cast, make, do their own. They got to go through the whole pre production, production, and post production for <laughs> for four assignments in a month. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to. It's not a lot of in class time. Yeah. Um, and I and I'm like, hey, you need to do this, 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 and this, and it's the, it's the deadline. Um, so uh, when these producers are sitting in, they like, man, and they they get it. The yeah. students get it, like, because they having conflicting times with their cast. I'm like, and this is a a free course. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. it's people that's heavily invested thousands and thousands of dollars in this. If y'all got if y'all can't get this right now. How you think you want to ever continue to be employable? Yeah, yeah. Like, so you want to get, you want to mess up and screw up in class, but you want to execute it. So when you get out here, you're making Don's life more easier. Yeah. As a director and a filmmaker, like, wait a minute, hold on. How many films have you done? Don action because they Don pay attention. He yeah. quiet, but he pay attention. But he ain't let you know some shit ain't right. Either. Oh yeah, Definitely. oh yeah, no Definitely. problem, no yeah. no remorse. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He's just gonna tell. And, and what he will do though, if you on your shit, he ask you some shit. You know, he talk to you, he look at you with that little, you know, you can mm -hmm. get that little side eye, like, hey, you know, what's going on? <laughs> but if, he, and and if, if it's some shit that's, that, that's like, he's noticing, like, okay, yeah. this person hasn't, this talent hasn't been on many sets, but I know you notice some things about him, like, wait a minute, that that sticks in his mind. Like, I want to work with that person again. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you keep doing it, yeah. then it again. So then my phase three looks like I'm teaching the key, the grip. They actually film in that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the, they the, understand the, that process. Yep. Yeah. That develop a respect for it. Yep. So so yeah. for, so phase two and three, they work together. And okay. I got a um a, a team that um that comes in and work with them. Okay. I know a little bit about it, but mm -hmm. I let them do that. I like contract it out so mm -hmm. they can actually learn it. Right. So most of the time they shooting it with their phones, but you can still get the legit. You know what I'm saying? I wanna, I wanna add w one little aspect. You made me think about something when you were talking and uh good shit. Definitely, by appreciate the way, you, kudos to you. Um, you definitely been doing your thing for a minute. Appreciate it. I, uh, another thing, I want to applaud you because when you took a break, and I know this from, from just my personal experience, um, a lot of people, sometimes, like I said earlier, they always feel like they got to be doing something. Yeah. All right. And they always feel like if I'm not doing something that everybody else can visibly see, then maybe I'm I, I might not be the one that's popping, mm -hmm. and I think that to even have the courage and balls sometimes to just take a break for some shit. There, it got to a point, man, where I was doing so many shows, I didn't even want to look at another script, especially in the theater world, you know, and, and on the urban circuit, because that shit require a lot of time, effort, and shenanigans sometimes. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's brutal in that <laughs> business. Um, but I say all that to say that uh, kudos to you for, you know, just being able to take a break and, and, and say, hey, listen, you know, move with some intention in terms of this is what I want to do when I come back. Yeah. You know, um, and that's that goes into alignment with what I was saying earlier when I, I learned a lot about myself and I, I'm still learning from acting. But I want to say this. Um, I was having a conversation the other day and um, it was about Uda Hagen and uh, when a lot of people get into this game 
you know, it's one thing to listen to you share some of your knowledge and wisdom with them, but it's another thing for them to go on their own and really study acting from the perspective of listen to people talk about it and what it means to them, shit like that. Yeah. So most people buy Uta Hagen's first book, The Power of the Actor, but they don't buy the second book, which is called Respect for Acting, all right? And that's the one, actually, that's the more important mm. one. And the reason why is because, and I have a, I, I, I'm a stickler for this kind of shit. A lot of people who get into this business don't realize how much judging that they do of themselves and of others as soon as they see a character, okay? And one of the rules in acting that I like to use is never judge your character. But what does that look like, okay? And people don't realize that they do this shit in real life. I say this to say that sometimes... I've noticed when you give an actor an assignment, you say, hey, listen, you're going to be the garbage man and you're going to be the garbage man's wife. And this garbage man is going through hard times right now. And, and you you kind of want to you love him, but you've been really thinking about stepping out on him. Cool. Let's see what this look like. When they reenact that scene in improv, you can really tell a lot about their own personal, personal. judgments yeah. Yeah. towards other people, people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. based on their performance. Mm. So in respect for acting, Uta Hagen talks about the difference between what they call representation acting and presentation acting. And I've made a point in my career, I want to present. I don't want to represent what somebody else did Facts. or what somebody think, think this person yeah. is supposed to, to look, look like. like. Yeah, yeah. You understand Facts. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just because somebody's saying I'm a garbage man don't mean that I need to walk around with my head lowly and yeah. you know maybe I, I don't have good posture sure, and I don't yeah. I don't want to speak loud or with confidence. People do this. Yeah, yeah. And that's important because I notice that when I look at actors, I'm like, man, you know what? Get to the point in life where. You're not judging. Yeah. Yep. Stay grounded. Stay neutral. That's when you're going to be able to really get in there and really play with this shit and really bring what you hired mm -hmm. to bring to this shit. Yeah. Don't do what DiCaprio did or mm -hmm. Denzel did. Don't yeah. try to imitate what them motherfuckers yeah. is doing. Do what mm -hmm. the fuck you, you think yeah. you're going to bring to this yeah. shit. Facts. That's presentation. Yeah. Facts. Not representation. Facts. All right. Yeah. Adam, I, let me hit you. Let me hit no, you. no. I'll go ahead because I was going to ask you. Yeah. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. And... This is I, in week one. I let them because they 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 have to do a monologue every time they come to class. So it was eight. We meet four times, you know, in uh, four weeks times two twice okay. a week, eight times. So they have to have eight different monologues. After the first one, I let them, I let them just see what they got, and they did. A lot of them come right in and do exactly what you just broke down as far as the the representation. Patient. You know what I'm saying? So I, I sit back and I laugh, and then they just sitting up there like what. I'm like, nothing. I'll explain it to you mm. once you, you know, mm. at the end of the class. Okay. So when I explained that to him, right, I said, well, you know, uh, that Denzel performance that you just attempted, mm. you know, um, if I wanted him, I'd, I'd, I'd have probably had him in class. Yeah. You know, you're going to miss your shot. Stop. You're going to miss Trying your Trying to shot. be somebody else. Yeah. Listen, they, they already have Denzel. Yeah. They waiting on Don. They waiting on Miles. They waiting on Ju John. Yeah. They waiting on me. Yeah. They want to see the first you. Yeah. I've never seen nobody. I was, I've never seen nobody cast for imitating uh, shit. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. 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 I've never oh, seen it. Yeah. I've never seen it. So um, to add on to that, the, the, the presentation, right? And we, too, when we talk about the vulnerability of becoming a character. Right, and I see this all the time, and I hear it all the time. Where's I, man? I, this character, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get into it. I'm like, what do you mean get into? It? How do you get into a character? You, oh, you mean you're trying to embody the character, right? Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Oh, because you just can't jump into something. I'm sorry. It. This is. I, I don't know where people get that misconception about yeah. what we're doing. Yeah. The shit, the shit stops here. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm going to let you know. Yeah. You can't jump in the character. You have to embody this character. And like Don said, if you're the garbage man, yo, hey, why? First of all, do y'all know how much the garbage man makes? <laughs> shit. Sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. For real. Mm -hmm. My head is up high. Right. right. I got posture. I'm talking more shit than a little bit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but the vulnerability. They, they, when they say I'm, you're not allowing yourself to open up. 
and believe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you haven't seen your favorite actress portray this, so you really don't know where to go. So how much confidence do you have then to trust in your judgments to deliver how you, you should deliver? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah good shit. All right. All right, so look. Check this out, y'all. King, yes, where sir. can people find you as far as your acting classes, as far as, you know, your uh, projects that you didn't already put out here and stuff like that? Give out your information real quick and um, all your upcoming events, all your upcoming, say, you know, like I said, projects and so forth. And of course, Don, you got to do the same. All right, I'm going to hit y'all with the basics, man. Y'all can find me. I, I post a lot about my classes and uh, my projects, right, uh, s- simply on uh, Facebook. Um, I'm up under King Wesley, and up under Instagram is King Wesley Official. If you are listening and you are interested in taking my course, you can email me at one on one acting with King at gmail.com. Again, that's one on one acting with King uh, with King at gmail.com. Is that the number one or spell one? You could spell you could spell it O N O N E. Gotcha. O N O N E W I T H K I N G at gmail.com. All right. Um just Shoot me an inbox, or if you if you on Facebook and Instagram, just shoot me an inbox, because I, I, it is people in the world who don't use social media, but that's okay. You can email me there. Um, projects coming out. Shout out to Jazar Riches and a row. And uh, Dewan Ford, man, I just landed my first lead, bro. Good mm. shit, man. Congrats. I, man, first, listen, um, Fatal Dispatch. Okay. Um, we don't have a, everything that I'm about to name, we don't even have a date for. Um, okay. Fatal Dispatch. Um, Master Dragon, uh, the Perfect Gift. Master Dragon is uh, Diesel's production. Okay. Uh, the Perfect Gift is Jada Jones' production. Shut Up is uh, Alexis Louise's production. I play a serial killer in that. That's what's <laughs> up, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. And I'm giving. Listen, man. Thomas L. Harris and this man right here, and my other brother, man, Ivory Franklin. They said this to me a long time ago when they recognized raw talent. The more diversified you can be. You're gonna be, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna have a, a luxurious, a luxurious career. Um, I have um, Black Ice, that which is a timepiece about a black hockey team. I play the father of the lead um, um, hockey player, and That's this, this is gonna be, it's gonna be real dope, man. Um, again, I don't that have sound a like, well, That sounds like a Janine and Rocky. Yeah. Is that Janine and Rocky, or that no, somebody else? No, this guy named this guy. I'm a, what is his name? No. Black Eye. Oh, wait a minute. My, older gentleman. Older gentleman. Say his name. I don't know his name. His but daughter. I think I his heard daughter it. is the wife of, of 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 my like my little brother, man. Brandy Mitchell is his daughter. What's his name? He's a good guy, man. Tall, brown skin, older guy. Okay. I, I think I've heard about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the first black hockey player. All yeah. right. So, yeah, so yeah, look, yeah. before we cut off, y'all. Yeah, hey, yeah. look, look, look. We gonna keep this flexing. About hey, look. Make sure y'all check them out. Support, 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 you know what I'm saying? And you know where to find us every Monday night at 9 o'clock, the GAMG, the Big Flex Podcast. Flex it out, my friends. We'll see you all next week. Peace, y'all.